Good afternoon and welcome to FDN News. I'm Jonathan Cain. And I'm Bree Santiago. Our top story this week, it is official. The meal plan system will change in fall of 2015. Sodexo has partnered with HU administration to revise the plans in order to better plan meals. Currently, meal swipes reset at the end of every semester. Next semester, they will reset every week. Currently, you can swipe more than once during a meal on all plans except A. Next semester, A1 is the only plan you can only swipe more than once. Currently, there's a 30% upcharge to use flex dollars off campus. Next semester, the upcharge remains, but the university will add Forrester bucks. Those can be used off campus and in the bookstore with no upcharge. Currently, you can choose from different amounts of flex dollars. Next semester, every meal plan will include 50 flex dollars and 25 Forrester bucks. The prices are similar for next year, but Sodexo has eliminated six meal plan options. The university held three focus groups made up of students and tried to include their feedback, but the students we talked to are still unhappy. I think that the new meal plans might be a little bit problematic. I mean, I just found out about it, but I think it sounds like a not so great idea. I think the meal plans are awful, in all honesty, and it's very inconvenient. I think the meal plan system right now is actually pretty good. I'm not really against it, but I prefer what we have now, I think. I'm just trying to understand where this idea came from and why they're going for it. I'm sure it's well thought out and all that. Then again, I'm on this prayer circle and I probably thought that that was well thought out as well. I would prefer having a semester long limit because it's easier to keep track of. I don't like the fact that you would lose all your meals after a week. Like what if you're off campus for one week and then you just lose all of them? If people are gone for a week, then they lose all those meals and they can't, they can't really spread them out at leisure. Say I have people that are visiting. I can't swipe for my friends that are visiting or my family if I go over the meal limit. I mean, sometimes I just don't feel like eating anything. Should be able to eat as many as I want. And I think it's very stupid and I'm using that word. I think the meal plans are awful and um, it only puts more money in Sodexo's pockets and takes away from the students tremendously. I think it's a really bad idea, especially with the flex, because they're just trying to complicate something that's already broken. The Board of Trustees is also planning to raise faculty salaries for the first time in five years. Students can also expect to see renovations in the dorms and the entryways to campus soon. To watch our extended interview with President Emberton, you can visit ForresterDigital.net and click on the story. The primary elections are on Tuesday, and this year the city of Huntington has four Republican candidates for mayor, including the incumbent mayor, Brooks Fetters. FDN called and emailed all four candidates, asking what would you do for Huntington University? Incumbent Mayor Brooks Fetters was the only candidate to respond. Tell you what, Huntington University is a big part of the Huntington fabric. And I think as we move forward, the city and the university are always looking for ways to be partners uh, collaboratively in helping make great kinds of amenities come to Huntington. Uh, students are always engaged in uh, helping put their print on what Huntington's going to become. And I look forward to seeing more of that happen. Fetters has served as the mayor of Huntington since 2011. For more information on where to vote, you can visit ForresterDigital.net and click on this story. Last weekend, some students fought for the chance to have an original song played on Forrester Radio. The radio station partnered with SAB to put on the first annual Battle of the Bands. Participants were asked to send in a video of themselves performing an original song. Sam Jones, the station manager, then picked a handful of bands to perform live. The selected bands battled it out at the hub in front of their peers. This year's winner was Stephen Goot and Jacob Burr. We wanted to show the student body, the, the art, artists, the artistry of their peers. And um, so that's what we originally sought for here for Forrester Radio. And it's just a great opportunity for Huntington University students to see their friends in a light that they might not normally. Some of these acts are not people that you see for joyful noise or anything like that. There's people who might just play in their room or something. So we're really excited to just kind of see some people just maybe come out for the first time or get their big break. Steven and Jacob will get to record their winning song with Forrester Radio. The semester is ending and summer vacation is just around the corner. But for many students, summer won't be a vacation. We talked to several students to find out their plans for this summer. 
Over the summer, I'll be interning with Veritas Community Church in Columbus, Ohio. Um, it's a worship arts internship, so I'll be working mainly with the worship program, but I'll also be doing a lot of like community outreach type stuff. Uh, I am doing a personal training internship at Club 24 Fitness in Kokomo. I'll be volunteering at the local cat shelter for two months, and I absolutely love kittens. And I'm going to work with the wounded little kittens. They take up all the sides of the roads, so I'm going to really enjoy that because I love cats. Well, this summer I'm actually going on Prime, so I have an internship through OMF in Thailand. So I will be learning Thailand and uh, building community relationships and yeah, helping out missionaries in Thailand. I will be a historical interpreter at Sauter's Village in Archibald, Ohio. Um, for the summer, I was blessed with the opportunity to work for YouthWorks. So I get to spend 10 weeks doing service projects for the community they put me in and leading youth groups to do God's work. Um, as far as the summer goes, I'm just basically planning on staying on campus and I've been looking to get a job. I talked to admissions, but they're not really hiring this summer, so I'm looking at getting a job at maintenance because I've done those types of jobs before. I am working at Bart's Water Sports as a sales and a marketing rep, and hopefully we'll go on from there to do uh, some bigger stuff. All right, well, this summer I'll actually be in Port Huron, Michigan uh, with a church, uh, Colonial Woods Missionary Church. I'll be an intern there uh, doing youth group stuff. Speaking of summer, it's hard to believe that next week will be the last week of regular classes. It has just gone so fast, and you wonder what that means, that it's also our last episode of FDN. I can't believe how quickly this year is gone. Well, that's all the time we have for you in this installment of FDN News. Don't forget to check us out online at ForresterDigital.net and follow us on Twitter at FDN underscore news. As always, thank you for joining us. We hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you next week.